Hello, welcome to the channel. It's me doing a talking video. I don't do these, but as you've seen from the intro, I think this one uh, this one needs me talking and explaining what's happened to the car. I uh, had a crash last week. It was a minor one. It doesn't seem like that makes sense, but where it was at the speed it was, this was a minor crash. And I'll say I got away with it because the car is pretty much undamaged. Um, I went backwards along the side of the Armco and caught this left corner as the car was going backwards. The splitter just caught the edge of the Armco there. And then the bumper and the inner wing both impacted on the barrier, pushed those in, popped out here. And that's it. That's the damage on a 90 mile an hour impact into the barrier. I'm so, so lucky. I'll show you under the bonnet so you can see what has happened. So the main area of concern is this front corner here. The actual chassis leg, which is this area, has not moved at all. If I show you the paint down here, you can see the paint hasn't cracked. All this completely untouched, exactly as it was before the track day. The area of damage is literally this area here, and it's this skin, this thin inner wing. So the chassis leg is fine, the inner skin has bent and it's been pushed in slightly at the top so I need to press that back out. If you see the inner wing comes away from the outer wing there, there's a little bit of a visible part. If you look at the other side, you'll see that here the line is a straight line where on the uh, passenger side that just curves out. So what happened is the inner wing was touched and it pushed the slam panel which is this across, it buckled up in the middle, you can still see there it's got a crack and it's cracked here and what that did is just pulled the uh, grill across, broke the headlight and tore the headlight mount and damaged the bumper. I uh, repaired the bumper with a hammer and some cable ties, I was able to get out for the last lap of the day, wasn't losing any coolant, any fluids, I had a crack in a power steering cooler which I just took off and bypassed and I managed to do a lap. And the car is absolutely fine, it's straight, it doesn't pull to one side. I'm changing the track roads as a matter of course. That corner damaged the wheel. It would be foolish not to change it. It's a £10 part, so I'll fit a new track rod on there. Um, it was last week, we got home on Sunday. And if you look already, I have spares. Picked up a new slam panel, a new bumper yesterday. I already had a spare grill. I have a new spare Team Dynamics wheel coming tomorrow. This week I need to get the front off the car, get everything sanded down, push back into place and get it built up and be back out on Destination Nürburgring in three weeks. <laughs> just so there's time to see what's happening. I passed this rental car on the left, doing about 20 miles an hour slower than usual, just over 140 over the crest instead of 160. Um, over to the right hand side, dab of brakes, drop a gear, see there's a slower car ahead, so I'm not as fast through Schwedenkreutz, and this does mean the right side of the car isn't loaded as much as usual. I think this contributes towards the off, 
the tyre hasn't warmed up like it normally would have done, but this is my second lap. I'm really surprised if that's the cause, but I can't think what else it could be. Pass on the outside, stay a little bit wider than usual because he's still there. But once I get on the accelerator, because of the new shifter, I do flat up shifts, which means I don't need to lift off the throttle. And so the speeds on both laps are within a mile an hour of each other. Pause it whenever you want, compare the speeds. They're the same, my lines are the same. So whilst going too fast has obviously caused me to go off, I wasn't going faster than I normally do at a speed that I get through the corner with no drama. And that's what's confusing me a little bit. Stay to the right before the compression, as you sweep left, onto the power, about 140 miles an hour. Then as soon as you're through, off the accelerator, onto the brakes. And then as I start turning left, back on the power, but I feel the right start sliding. So I instantly had a quarter of a turn of right hand lock, but I hit the curb. And I think that just unsettles the car too much. Starts pendulum effect now, off the throttle completely, on the brakes, still steering. Not making much difference, I don't think, but it means I get a glancing blow rather than head on into the armco. Just miss touching at the back and then come to a stop alongside the barrier. I've done enough track days. You don't just leave your car there if you can move it. So I want to get forward into the Marshall Point out of the way. I'm a little bit stressed at this point, so going down the gears isn't as easy as it normally would be. I get a little bit wound up, but I do get forward, get to safety. Uh, then fall in recovery and get the cab back to the car park so I can have a look at it. Fucking thing! Took a few photos at the time, it just helps show the damage in a little bit more detail. The main issue is the bumper being bent so much at the front, uh, that makes it look worse than it actually is. The splitter came off in one piece, which it's designed to do but doesn't always work. Uh, the air dam was bent as it touched the armco, but that was all. Uh, you can see the path I took there, backwards, brushed the armco, and then backwards again. Uh, front left wheel is ruined, but I have sourced a spare already. The uh, marshals arrived and lifted the car via the wheels, which meant I could have a look underneath, and there was no damage whatsoever. I still can't believe just how lucky I am on this one. Uh, once it was on the trailer, we got back to the guest house where I could start removing the parts, ready to get it fixed so I could drive the last lap of the day. Now, the bumper, as I mentioned before, was bent. We did straighten that with a hammer. Straighten most things with a hammer, to be honest. The air filter you saw bouncing across the track in the video and the split amount failed as expected, as it's designed to do. Back out again, it looks a little bit tatty, but there was no damage underneath and we even had time to cable tie repair the wheel arch. Thank <laughs> you.